Hi, and welcome to Frauscher Talks. My name is Thomas, and in this episode, we will discover different types of wheel detection outputs. By watching the previous episodes, we already obtained some good insights about the evaluation and processing of the digital signal. However, a wheel detection point is able to provide much more information. In order to explain the different types of outputs available, let's again make use of the diagram we are already familiar with, showing the analog and digital signal during the traversing of a wheel. The output of a system impulse lasts for the duration of the actual occupancy of the sensor system. However, the length of the impulse can also be extended. Depending on the wheel detection system, the system output extension time can either be manually configured or is preset by the type of board in use. Besides the system impulse, the evaluation board is also capable of generating different direction outputs. Here a distinction is made between one-edge direction pulse and four-edge direction pulse. As the names already indicate, the generation and output of those pulses is based on the edges of the system outputs. Let's have a look at the one-edge direction pulse at the beginning. Initially, this output is triggered by the first edge of the system impulse. Depending on the duration of the direction pulse, which is again either configurable or preset by the type of board, and the traversing speed, the one edge direction pulse gets re-triggered by every single edge of the system impulses. In this way, there is only one pulse, output per wheel or even per train traversing the sensor. In case of safety relevant wheel detection, an important note here is that the one edge direction pulse is also output in case any error occurs. Taking a look at the four edge direction pulse, one can see that this output is triggered with the fourth edge of the system outputs. It is important to mention that this pulse is only output if the four edges, which we can see here, are generated in exactly this order. And we have an overlap of system one and system two. Hence, this output indicates a full traversing of a wheel over the detection point. Combining the information about one edge and four edge pulses with the ability to determine the travel direction based on which system pulse is output first, makes it possible to provide four different types of direction outputs. One edge direction pulse direction one, one edge direction pulse direction two, four edge direction pulse direction one, and four edge direction pulse direction two. What are these outputs usually used for? The four edge direction pulse is typically used for applications where information about the travel direction is needed or to ensure that the proper traversing of the sensor took place. The one edge direction pulse is typically needed for general wheel detection and to activate any safety related function in a safe way. The most popular application to illustrate the use of above mentioned output types is a simple level crossing. As you can see on the picture, the one edge direction pulse is used for the strike in point to trigger the level crossing when a train approaches the outer wheel sensor. This must be done with the help of the one edge direction information as this pulse is also output in case of any failure. That means in case an error occurs, the one edge direction pulse is output and the level crossing would enter the fail safe state. On the other hand, the four edge direction pulse is used for the strike out point in order to release the level crossing as soon as the train moves away from the crossing. This task may only be carried out by using the four edge direction output as this pulse indicates a proper traversing of a wheel 
over the sensor. As this command triggers the opening of the crossing and therefore the exit of the safe state, we have to make sure it was a train wheel activating the process and not any kind of failure. I hope now you have a better picture of what types of outputs can be provided by a wheel detection system and what they can be used for. I would be happy to see you also in the next episode of Franscher Talks.